Almost any parent will tell you that raising children is got to be one of the hardest jobs you'll ever have. And these days, mums and dads get plenty of conflicting advice about what's best for their children. So without beating up on parents, just how do you raise kids who won't end up hating you? Let's ask psychologist Sally Ann McCormack and editor of Practical Parenting magazine Mara Lee. Good morning to you both this morning. Sally Ann, let's start with you. As parents, we certainly get bombarded with so much advice these days. How do you know what to use and what to ignore? Oh, I think it's really difficult to know what to use and what to ignore. I, one of the things that I tell parents usually is go with your gut instinct. Work out what it is that you think makes the most sense and stick with that because all children are different, all parents are different and all situations are different. Mm. And also ask your mum and dad use their oh. experience rather than say well I'll just go and check the book thanks for the advice it's a bit belittling for mums and dads it, go and ask your parents go and ask your parents ask your friends ask the teachers at school if your children are at school did you say ask don't everyone. ask your parents I said do ask your oh, parents sure. oh, yes. it, no, that's sure. a bit a bit close to the bone I think for someone <laughs> sitting at this desk won't go there Mara yeah. now your magazine focus parents of children under five, yep. what are readers main concerns? Look, I think readers aren't concerned with whether their kids like them. No one has a baby and thinks, gee, I hope this one likes me. I think that <laughs> kind of comes with the mother-baby, parent-baby relationship. They're concerned about getting it right because what's happening is every morning when we wake up, there's a new news story, there's a new scare, there's some expert saying, if you do something this way, there are scary, horrible repercussions for your child. So my generation of parents and my readers are totally confused about what to do because we're being told that all of these things that maybe our parents have done before us maybe that we were doing quite happily as we were going along this parenting journey all of this stuff is wrong and causing serious damage to our children and it starts in pregnancy have you drunk alcohol you've harmed your baby when your baby is born what are you feeding your baby when are you feeding how are you feeding um, it goes through to tantrums you know how are you dealing with the if you yell, if you smack, if you shout, if you belittle your child, you'll cause all this damage. And so parents like me and my readers are sitting there going, ah! Mm. And, and, and when we do ask our, our own parents, they say, well, in our day, we did this, and, and look at you, you're fine. And the rational part of our head says... I know, I can see that and I agree, but then the newspapers, the TV news is in our ears saying, don't do this, there are long-term repercussions. So yeah. I think we're just really worried we're going to get it wrong and stuff up these gorgeous creatures who we oh. desperately wanted to have and who we desperately want to raise as healthy, happy and thriving children. Look, it's a bit risky for the eldest child, but after you've sorted out your mistakes from number two on, it works out pretty smoothly, doesn't it? Go with your gut. <laughs> Sally Ann, the worst thing a parent wants is when your kid inevitably says, oh, I hate you, Mum, or oh, I hate you, Dad. Um, how can you avoid that? What's your advice? I don't know that you can actually avoid it. I think it's par for the course. They, people say things with, you know, in angry, in angry situations, so I don't actually think that that's such a big thing. Um, it does hurt us, I understand that. But one of the things we need to remember is not to expect our children to be perfect and not to expect ourselves to be perfect either. And you know what? We are going to mess up. That's yep. just what yeah. parents do. You've got some good tips there. Stress less, have realistic expectations, give the kids responsibility. Discipline means um, learning and teaching. Yeah, now it does. go through that, Sally Ann, because um, discipline means teaching rather than just yelling and screaming or smacking or getting angry and uptight, I guess. It really does. A lot of people kind of cringe when they hear the word discipline, but discipline doesn't mean punishments. It doesn't mean, con well, it does mean consequences, I guess, but it's actually, it means teaching. So I, I discipline my children every day in that I teach them the, the ways to behave, the ways to, to be better children or better adults. And that's, you know, that's mm. what I'm raising. And one of the things with me, I have two educational degrees, three psychological degrees, four children. I have more degrees parenting degrees than children and I still mess up every single day. You ask my kids. Oh, that is so good yeah. to hear. You're both very <laughs> sensible mums, three sensible mums. Thank you for joining us. Some great advice. Thanks. It was a pleasure. And also, That's a good point. we live by setting boundaries for kids means you love them. Yeah. Rather than they should hate you. Yeah, there you go.